A few years ago, it was kind of rough being like a high-speed, overclockable memory vendor because, quite frankly, your memory frequency didn't affect your real-world performance that much. But over the last couple of years, that has changed a lot, especially thanks to AMD Ryzen. So G-Skill sponsored us to come check out what they're showing off at their booth, and I think you guys are going to be a little surprised. Starting with this. I was surprised when I saw this. This is literally a beer dispensing PC. Okay, just to be clear, guys, the coolant here is just dyed to look like beer. That's not actually the same thing. But uh, hey, nonetheless, that is a pretty freaking cool mod. Over here, we've got something a little bit more on topic. So this was done up by Elmore Labs, and what they've got in here is a 5.7 gigahertz CPU and 4,800 megahertz memory inside a amped up on steroids version of the chill box that we built for our Apple thermal throttling video. So instead of using a window mounted air conditioner to recirculate cool air, they actually have a gigantic tank of liquid nitrogen that pumps liquid nitrogen into an evaporator in the bottom up under the motherboard where the cooled nitrogen comes out around the board and then they've got these tubes over here that bring it back down out and then you've got all this like kind of smoke coming out of it. Now obviously, not everyone at home is going to be able to run their PC at negative 70 degrees Celsius, but it's a pretty neat demo nonetheless. Continuing their theme of totally over-the-top configurations, G-Skill's showing off an Intel Xeon W3175X running 384 gigabytes of 4,000 megahertz memory. So the impressive thing here, because 4,000 megahertz has been done before, but it's that they're doing this with high density modules. So each of these is a 32 gigabyte DIMM. So when you're running at that kind of speed, and remember, this is a six channel memory controller on this thing, you just might have enough memory and enough speed to run Google Chrome. For their next tricks, G-Skill is showing off a 5,000 megahertz kit that's running at only 17, 17, 17 timings. That is utterly incredible and it is actually running. They've got their CPU-Z screenshots going on up here. And then of course, as is typical of these guys, they're showing off the highest memory speed on the show floor, a 5200 megahertz kit running on, this is a really weird system. It's actually running on a little tiny mini ITX board in there. If you're into big performance and small size. Hey, it's like me. <laughs> Bringing things back down to earth, we've got the launch of G-Skill's Trident Z Neo. So this is a continuation of the trend we're seeing where AMD is just getting so much more support in the industry for their third gen Ryzen launch than we're accustomed to seeing. So this is an entire series of their RGB memory that's dedicated to AMD users. Now they haven't finalized the exact clock speeds that's still under NDA or the colors, so they want to hear your feedback. Let them know in the comments in the video description. It's going to be two-tone, but do you want to see like a silver, blue, red, gold? Do you have any other ideas? Let them know down below and also check out G-Skills products at the link in the video description. I want to thank them for sponsoring this video and thank you guys for watching. If you disliked it, you can hit that button, but if you liked it, hit like, get subscribed, or maybe consider checking out where to buy the stuff we featured at the link below. Also down there is our merch store, which has cool shirts like this one, and our community forum, which you should definitely join. <laughs> what do you want, Dennis? <laughs>